So now what we're going to do is once the NVR is connected over the network using a network cable to a router on which you also have a computer. So my computer here that I'm looking at, it's a laptop connected by Wi-Fi to a router that has a wire going to my NVR. So now I'm going to use a software called the config tool. First, let's show you how to install it. Here's a video on how to do that. So what we now have to do is download something called a config tool. It's a sniffing tool for the networks to find the DVR if you don't already have it set up on the network. Rare hope thing you already do and you don't have to follow the step, but we're still going to feature it so to show you how to find a DVR if it's the first time you're connecting it to your network. So we have something called a config tool. You can find it at the following URL that you see here on, in our notepad. I'm highlighting it right now. That's the config tool. You would put this in your browser. If you want to know more how to use it, let me show you. You can find it on our website here. I'm going to go to my web browser, go to our website. And here, if you look at the heading of this article, it says how to find your IP camera on the network. This is a config tool that not only finds your IP cameras, but also your DVRs. And this whole tutorial page shows you how to even install the tool and use it for many other uses. However, this video, we're making it just so we can break down how you can find your DVR on your own. And in case you can't, then you can always purchase some networking help. So let's go back to the notepad. I'm going to take this URL, or you can follow along and type this into your browser. So I'm gonna copy it for my sake. Go into my web browser. You can use Chrome or whatever, doesn't matter at this point. So I'm going to create a new tab and I'm going to paste it in. You want to make sure your browser says the exact same URL in there. So www.cctvcameraworld.com forward slash config5. Hit enter. And then it will bring you to this page on Google Drive to download this software. So you have to use a Windows computer, make sure you are. Now let's go and download it by pressing the down arrow. Depending on what year you're watching this video in, this, this page or these pages may seem a little bit different because Google always updates their website. I'm gonna hit download anyway, ignore any dumb errors from Google. And on the bottom it's telling me it's downloading the software. Once it's downloaded, I am going to click on it. But, or actually I'm gonna go find it by going into my download directory. Here is my download directory. It downloaded the file and it's called general, under, general underscore config underscore or config tool underscore v5. So I'm going to right click on it and extract it to a zip file by using Windows Explorer like that. This is how your Windows will do this. And now I'm going to click on open. So I right clicked and I clicked open. It's going to ask me the security thing. I'm going to say, yeah, okay, whatever. And then stop here. It's going to ask you what language you want to install this in. Click the drop down. Make sure you do this in English. Otherwise, I don't read Chinese and I'm pretty sure you don't either. So hit OK. Now you click, keep clicking next until you install the software. Agree the terms and conditions. Keep on going. It may take a minute or so, or more depending on how fast your computer is. Once it's done, it's going to say you can go enjoy this software. So let's go enjoy it. So now once you have the config tool installed, you want to find your NVR. And here's uh, my NVR right here that we're working on. And on the right hand side, you'll see a web login icon. It'll say web login when you hover your mouse over that. Click on that. Now keep in mind all of this is done on Windows, so you need Internet Explorer. If you have a Mac, you won't be able to follow these directions. Unfortunately, you need to either use a VM machine or get a Windows laptop. So now I'm here and my uh, web browser has pulled up to the login screen. I'm gonna type in my username, which is admin. And let's hope you have not changed your password at any point or forgotten it. I'm gonna type in the password. This is stated on the label on the top of the NVR that you got. Hit login. Once you're in there, it takes a seconds or up to a minute, depending on how fast your computer is, go to this center area and you can see these arrows, click on the right one 
and you want to go to display. That's the display icon. Once you're there in the display, let's talk about what, what all of this is here. This is the main menu output for the VGA and HDMI output. It tells you what, what you're doing here with these two outputs here, the VGA and the HDMI. My NVR right now that I'm working with only has one VGA and one HDMI. If you have a larger NVR or DVR, it may have one VGA and two HDMI. So we just wanna do it for screen number VGA plus HDMI. Change that resolution, that's 4K. That's why it's not showing up on my 1080p TV, probably for you too. So let's go to 1920 by 1080. That's 1080p, that works with my monitor here. Unless your monitor is like from 2010, it's gonna be 1080p at the least. And then use the scroll bar on the right hand side, scroll down and hit OK. Once you do that, this green box will come up, says operation succeeded, and your NVR grid display will start working again. I'll show you that in just one second. Let me just pan my... So here, I'm panning over to my screen here. I've got my display back, awesome. Let's go back to the computer screen one more time, and I'm gonna show you a few particulars that you need to know. Sorry for the shaky video there, but I have to show it to you this way. So now, I'm back in the display section. There are a few other things that I wanna make sure you're aware of. Let's go all the way to the top. On the left-hand side, you see tour settings. Click on that. You may even lock yourself out if you turn on the tour on the NVR by mistake. If you have this enabled, uncheck it. If it's checked, uncheck it. It should be like this, nothing on there. So scroll down all the way, make sure you uncheck it, and hit OK. Okay. If it still doesn't go away, you can always use the default button on the bottom. Let me scroll back down there. This one. This thing here says default. It'll reset those settings. Operation succeed. That means it applied. Hit OK one more time. And that should get rid of your any um, tour settings that you have set on the display. That's pretty much it. This is how you get out of a, a system that's been locked out because you inadvertently changed the resolution on it or set a tour. Hopefully you find this useful here. Make sure you find out what the resolution is supported by your monitor before you start going in and changing the display resolutions. The display output is not your camera resolution. It's what kind of pretty picture that NVR or DVR is gonna display on your TV. Thank you for watching. And if you could not follow this video, by the way, and you need further help, you couldn't figure it out on your own, or this is too complicated, feel free to purchase our networking help section, which is remote desktop support, which we have available on our website. It is a paid service. Thanks again.